I just thought I'd make you aware of how my freedoms, freedoms are getting stripped away right now, for best, especially for you people in the free stack. Ah, look at me. I can't even talk straight because I'm absolutely pissed but not surprised in the, late, in the least. Uh, so the Senate and the Assembly are talking in New York, basically having a nice chat, maybe some cocktails, uh, on how they're stripping us of our freedoms as we speak. I cannot possibly stress to the people in the free states uh, uh, about not giving people an inch. I've always uh, uh, mentioned that here on my channel, but I just like to uh, show you what show you happens when they uh, when it when you do. Uh, for those of you that are completely brain dead and don't watch this channel, uh, New York already has the toughest uh, assault weapons ban in the nation, pretty much besides California, and we're going to one up California. So uh, just so you know, uh, we already are banned to uh, ten round magazines if they were made after September thirteenth, nineteen ninety four. Currently, and uh, Andrew Cumhall is trying to, and probably will, because the Republicans in this state are fucking slightly less fucking uh, structurally sound than wet tissue paper. Uh, they're going to get that to seven rounds. That is a gun ban. That is that is taking that statement that they are not, uh, they will not come after your guns, and throwing it right out the window because that is a gun. Ban if you if you low, limit the magazines to ten rounds. Let's talk about my guns and see which ones would be legal now. If you don't think this is a gun ban and you know you people oh why well, let's let's have common sense regulations and you dumb motherfuckers that thought this was a good idea to uh, give an inch and this isn't bad and fucking that and you dumb motherfuckers that bought into this two party system and had not only these completely dumb motherfucking Democrats in there but you also have these fucking Republicans that are the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever fucking seen when it comes to standing for your party's values in there. Let's take a look, okay? Uh, look, first of all, let me get a list of my guns. Uh, uh, real quick. Yes, I have a list of my guns available. Uh, just so I can remember which ones that I have. Uh, and again, of course, this is all hypothetical. I did lose them in that Boeing accident, so this is all the ones that I <clears throat> used to own. And I'll let me bring up this list here. It's, it's weird when you get to the point where you need to bring up a list to remember what guns you own. And of course, the internet's not working right now. I have the, I have a signature on this uh, this this uh, gun website, New York Firearms, and that in that signature, I have a list of the guns that I <coughs> used to own before they got lost in that voting accident. And the site won't load right now, probably because it just needs to ruin my day even more uh, than already uh, has happened. So we'll, uh, let's see which ones I can remember off the top of my head. Oh no, wait, now it loads because everything's working so well for me today. Why don't they just fucking Take me out in the street and then shoot me in the head, right? And that's that's what they would, that's what they would want. That's what those antis want. They want to kill all the gunners because uh, the kid's dead. It's Sandy Hooker, uh, our responsibility, right? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Oh, now it's loading. Just give me one second here. Fuck me, everything's going well today. So, uh, the Remington 597. There we go. Now it loads. My oh, God, this is not my day at all. Here we are. Okay, so the Remington 597, the 22 plinker that I have from Remington, it shoots a semi-automatic 22, was the first gun I bought. Um, completely illegal. That would be gone. Why? Nobody makes fucking seven round fucking magazines for that fucking thing. So if you can't fucking see how this is a gun ban, you are fucking insane. So that, assault weapon, gone. So there's one of my guns, gone. Walther P99 and 9mm, nobody makes 7 round magazines for it. Assault weapon, gone. Walther P99 and 40, nobody makes 7 rounds mag magazines for it. Assault weapon, gone. Glock 26, nobody makes 7 round magazines for it. Gone. My North American Arms Mini Revolver, not gone yet. So yeah, I can have my little 22 revolver that will soon enough be labeled a Saturday Night Special and gone, but as of right now, I could still keep that. Revington SR22, my 22 Plinker pistol, gone. Nobody makes 7 round magazines for it. Assault weapon gone. Remington 700 farm in 308 Winchester not gone yet until next. They say it's a sniper gun, then that's going to be gone too. I already mentioned the 597, the Mosin Nagan 9130 and 7.62 by 54R not gone yet until they label it as a military weapon. Because let's not forget it was used by the military, so not gone yet. So I'll still have that. I think I have re retained two of my guns so far, maybe three. Uh, the, my Mossberg 535 in, uh, the, uh, camo shotgun that I have not gone yet until that gets labeled as a, I don't know, some sort of high capacity device. We were, we already gave him 10 and now we're going to give him fucking seven, having the fucking highest 
the worst assault weapons ban in the entire nation when five fucking people were killed with all types of fucking rifles in New York last year. Five fucking people. Five. More people died from falling out of bed. More people were struck by fucking lightning. Continuing on here. Uh, the 590, the Mossberg 590, that has a magazine of uh, a capacity of eight. Gone. Illegal. Illegal. Uh, my partner pumped 12 gauge. Not illegal yet until they say that that's a mass killer weapon. Nobody needs that. You don't need fucking five rounds of shotgun shells to hunt a deer, so they'll, they'll take that too. But again, hasn't been affected yet. High point 995. Oh, Jesus Christ, that might as well be the devil spawn itself. That's got a fucking pistol grip and a 10 round magazine, and nobody makes a seven rounder for it. Gone. GSG5, my 22 that looks like a Hathor and Coke MP5. Gone. They don't make seven round magazines for it. It's got a pistol grip. Might as well be fucking a baby killer. Uh, bu oh my god, my Bushman. I don't, I, we don't even need, need to get into it any more than that. And again, nobody makes seven-round magazines for ARs, so there you go. So, I think I kept four guns out of my collection right now that would actually be legal. It is the most blatant gun ban that I've ever seen. All 9mm Glocks gone. They, they, you wouldn't be able to own a Glock in New York State in 9mm, period, done, end of story, because they don't make seven-round magazine for it. All 40 caliber Glocks gone. Don't make seven round magazine for 40 caliber Glocks. So, two of the by far most popular handguns for self defense and recreational shooting in the entire fucking world gone. Just gone. You can't have them in any calibers in New York State. That's what's, that's what's going to happen because these Republicans are fucking cock sucking lunatics. Uh, so, no 9mm Glocks, no 40 Glocks, no, uh, no. 45s except the subcompact ones. I think the Glock 36 takes six round magazines, so there you go. But if you get one that takes eight, not gonna happen. You take, get one that takes nine, not gonna happen. Um, I don't believe there's any 10 millimeter Glocks that uh, take seven rounds or less. So pretty much you're going to be left with the New York State, the, the legal uh, Glock handguns that are going to be owned. And I'm just saying Glock because it happens to be the most popular. This goes for a lot of companies. You pretty much wouldn't be able to own any Walters except maybe the PPKS. But I mean... The PPS, I think they have eight round magazines for it. There may be seven of those. That might squeak in, but you're not going to have the PPQ. You're not going to have the P99. You're not going to have the P22. None of that. Everything's gone. If you can forget anything from uh, Smith & Wesson M&P, you can forget anything from uh, uh, Springfield. You can forget all, just pretty much all modern handguns, just completely illegal. Uh, pretty much all modern rifles, completely illegal. Ruger 1022 assault weapon. Nobody makes ten round or nobody makes a seven round magazine for it. How do you dumb motherfuckers not see that this is a gun ban. And of course, I'm not talking to my subscribers. I'm, I'm just getting my fucking anger out there. This is this is absolutely fucking un unbelievable. This is unbelievable that, that this is even being considered. We, oh, I've been watching the assembly all day and uh, watching these criminals, these absolute lunatic criminals. They're lucky they didn't give their rap sheet out when they were uh, out giving each other hand jobs, uh, g congratulating each other on uh, their uh, amazing accolades. Oh yes, this person is an Italian American, and he came. I don't give a fuck. You're taking my fucking rights. I don't give a fuck. He's the fucking Mother Teresa. The fuck is wrong with you fucking people? Fucking how many criminals in the fucking room I was expecting to see in a goddamn prison? Oh no, we only put the real offenders in prison. The people that like to enjoy a recreational joint on the fucking weekends. Those are the people that we put in prison. Not the people that are destroying this fucking country. I mean, just absolutely destroying this fucking country. Then you got fucking cumhole there, who's, 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 who's being a fucking a toddler like with his toy fucking taken away. Where, uh, because uh, people don't want this crap. The fucking people of New York do not want this crap. And they say this statement all the time. It's what I call an imaginary majority because it only exists in their fucking head. Uh, they say that they say this statement. Yeah, the vast majority of gun owners in America support this these uh, assault weapons bans. They don't need them on the streets. If that were true, why the fuck aren't they banned yet? Because is there some sort of force field around the piece of paper that you would write the bill on? Hmm? Or maybe you just made that fucking state uh, that statement. <laughs> Excuse me, that statement up, and in fact, the vast majority of that statement is complete bullshit. And by vast majority, I mean ent the entirety. But Andrew Cuomo is acting like the toddler with a toy taken away because people don't want this fucking crap. But he's gonna shove it through anyway. So he said, basically, if you don't fucking sign my ridiculous gun ban, gun ban. I won't even say assault weapons ban because it is a gun ban. Seven round magazines. 
all my guns would be illegal, pretty much. Pretty much every single gun that I own would be illegal. I would become a felon overnight, just like that. Oh, but will grandfather shit in? You are banning guns. What about the person that is 17 years old today? 17 years old and 364 days. This fucking ridiculous thing passes. He can't own any guns now. He can't own any guns. When he, when he turns 18 the next day, congratulations, he can't own any guns. That is the exact opposite of what the Second Amendment says, and these people are absolutely flipping out in the street. The NRA is the most useless fucking organization I've ever fucking seen, especially when it comes to New York. The, what the NRA should be doing right now is fucking building a human wall outside of this for the Assembly and the fucking Senate. Nothing should even be allowed in or out. It should be absolutely insane. In reality, we shouldn't even need the NRA to do this. There should be riots in the streets for how insane this is. It's, it's just, I can't even fucking describe this. And then these fucking criminals are out there talking behind closed doors about what they're going to ban. And the Republicans who are supposed to stand up for it, that's why I fucking dropped the Republican Party many, many years ago, um, are, about, are fucking useless. Are fucking useless. They're about as useful as an expired coupon. What the fuck? It's all absolutely fucking unbelievable. But, so yeah, Cuomo says he's going to pass these, this stuff, and if you people don't vote for how he wants it, he's going to cut off Sandy Relief. He's going to shut down the government, this and that. He's going to put it through on his budget. In other words, I will get my way. I don't give a fuck what anybody has to say about it. He will get his way. It's just like that fucking Dumbo in the fucking White House saying, oh, I'll do, I'll act, um, I, I, I don't care about congressional, whatever the fuck, whatever his dumbass statement was, basically saying he's going to use an ex executive order and ignore Congress and all that shit. Is this the fucking kind of government we want? Is this the fucking kind of government we want? Yeah, the government for the people, other people, by the people, right? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It's, we're gonna do whatever the fuck we want anyway. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about it. So I would just like to let you know that when this does pass, because the NRA and the other groups are giving the big fuck you to New York, all they do is ask for money, don't do a goddamn thing for New York, it should be a fucking outrage by the NRA. They should have fucking Wayne LaPierre himself standing at the fucking gates of the fucking, all the legislature places, and Every fucking, uh, fucking uh, high-level member of the NRA should be here right now, absolutely flipping out, and they're not doing a fucking thing. It's fucking great. It's oh, it's so great. Uh, 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 but again, we shouldn't even need the NRA. It should be outrage that's going on right now. Every single person in this this state should be flipping out on a level more than how I feel that I'm flipping out right now. Uh, oh, God. This is just unbelievable. This country is an absolute joke, and this state is the punchline. It is fucking unbelievable. And then people say, well, you need to continue to write your senators and email your congressmen. Yeah, I've been doing that, but clearly they don't give two fucks about the people anyway, because they're going to do exactly what the people don't want. I heard, by the way, that Andrew Cuomo got an entire 9% approval rating on his, this, this ridiculous gun law crap. Uh, and yet yeah, they're still trying to... They'll put it through anyway. Oh, it will happen. We're going to have a gun ban in New York. You guys are going to be saying... The people in California are going to be like, yeah, well, at least we're not New York. Just like the people in New York right now say, yeah, well, at least we're not California. It's going to be great. Uh, we are going to be the laughing stock of the country. Well, no, we're not really going to be. We already are. I mean, we have the fucking highest taxes in the nation, the least personal freedom. We are number 50 on the list of personal freedom, and they want to take it even more. But I can understand. We had five fucking murders. That was just on the news. They actually quoted this. I'm surprised I saw something pro-gun on the fucking mainstream news. But they actually said we had five fucking murders in New York with rifles last year, and you motherfuckers want more restrictions on rifles. More people died from fucking lineback strikes! How dumb are you motherfuckers? Although all of the only fucking thing that they can spew is, but 20 angels are in heaven. I don't give a fuck what the 20 angels are doing, be honest with you. I am not willing to give up my fucking rights because some maniac in another fucking state, not this one, in another fucking state decided to flip out. This is unfucking believable. I can't fucking believe how stupid the people in this fucking state are, and I can't believe how stupid the people in this fucking country are to, that, that this is even up for debate. But mostly right now, I'm pissed off at this fucking state. You let a fucking whack job in the fucking governor's office right there, and people are fucking praising him. Look at fucking mayors against illegal guns. Nearly everyone has a rap sheet longer than a fucking drug dealer fucking in the middle of... Compton, fucking L.A. I don't even know where the fuck Compton is. It's somewhere in California. That whole place is a shithole, just like fucking New York is going to be a shithole soon enough. <sighs>
man. This is fucking unbelievable. Oh, and I better watch what I say, too, because remember, let's not forget James Yeager. Remember James Yeager? I don't like him. I personally, I think James Yeager's an asshole. But don't forget that James Yeager got his concealed carry permit revoked when he spoke out against it. Oh, because he said he was going to kill people. He said he was going to kill people. Clear <coughs> Clearly, what he meant by that is he will defend, defend his rights no matter what means are necessary. But if you got that, if people see him say something like that, we got to take his Second Amendment rights away for exercising his First Amendment, right? Might as well get them all the way you can. I mean, right, what the hell? Fuck it. Let's fucking fuck the Fourth Amendment up, too. Make these mags illegal. Remember, seven-round mags. Nobody in their right fucking mind makes a seven-round mag, and they're not going to start. So why the fuck don't you just come into people's houses and start taking them without search warrants or anything? Fuck, if you're going to trash the first, second, why not just fucking throw the fourth in there, too? So, yeah, better, better watch out what I say, because, you know, if you say anything ill of the government that is going to fucking have a complete gun ban here in New York... Uh, then you're fucking, uh, you can get your rights taken away even faster. So it doesn't even really matter. I mean, it, when this bill passes, it's going to be a gun ban anyway. So what the hell rights are they going to take away from me? You know, this is unbelievable. Uh, boy, do I wish I lived closer to the border. If I did, I would literally get a cardboard box and put it up on some land and uh, say, this is my house. This is my residence. I will live here. That's it. Just to say that I'm not a, re a, re a resident of this this fucking d disaster. I don't even like to call it a state. It's not. It's a joke. It is a joke. Um, th this is just unbelievable. Uh, I mean, uh, for the people, all the people, but th th that's just a bunch of crap. They'll do whatever the fuck they want. I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna start up again. The assembly's gonna start up again at nine because you know they've worked so hard during the I think two hours that they spoke. Half of them were fucking asleep anyway, not paying attention. All they they fucking have their minds made up anyway. So yep, I just like to let you know that New York is in fact going to have a worse worse gun laws than California. So congratulations, California! You will no longer be the complete laughing stock of the nation. You will be the second, and we will take on your burden. So we'll cut the number of rifle deaths from five all the way down to maybe, I don't know, 15 or so, because it's not going to do a fucking thing. You know it's not about public safety when you actually look at the figures. Nobody wants this crap. We just had a gun show here in Saratoga, and the lines were stretching out the fucking block, and fucking, you couldn't even get into the fucking place. It was so packed. There was a couple anti there, and they were getting the finger. Nobody, it was, nobody wanted to talk to them, but... Prince, King, Emperor, whatever the fuck Cuomo, whatever the fuck you want to call Cuomo, um, will get his way, and that's all there is to it. And you people voted for him here in New York. You who voted for him. This is the kind of shit you want. That's the kind of representative government you want. You voice your opinion. They give you a big fuck you, and that's it. So, here we go. I hope you enjoy it. I will uh, enjoy... Oh, let's not forget that. that I, I don't want to end it quite yet because I'd like to actually give you guys uh, what they're proposing. I've only mentioned the magazine thing so far. It's more than that. They want to, they're want they going to require pistol permit renewals. You remember how long it took me to get my fucking pistol permit and how much unbelievable amounts of money it took to just ha exercise my right already in this state. Now, every five years, they want you're going to they're going to renew this. They want you to renew it. That's going to stop a lot. That's going to stop a lot. Um, it's going to provide the state money that they can waste uh, on more bullshit. <laughs> that's that's all it's going to do. That's all it is going to do. Um, period. So take your money there. Uh, they also mentioned that there, you you can keep, if you already have your assault weapon, you can keep it. You're just going to have to register it. So if you dumb motherfuckers out there are saying, well, what's the problem with registration if you have nothing to hide? First of all, that's, that's, that is an insanely scary way to think the whole if you are, uh, if you have nothing to, uh, hide mentality is so scary. I can't even believe that anybody could call themselves an American citizen and believe that. Well, if you have nothing to hide, what do you have a problem with the TSA? Well, I don't know. I mean, if I just saw your wife walking down the street and I decided to rape her and I didn't get her pregnant, hey, I mean, fuck, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. I don't have anything to hide. She doesn't have a baby. Who gives a fuck? The fuck is wrong with you if you have nothing to hide? Um, what's going to happen with the registration is the re if you actually are dumb enough to register your guns, you go ahead and you'll register them. And then the government will have a plan, another big disaster like Sandy Hook. They created Sandy Hook, so they'll just create another one. And then that'll say, well, look, you guys aren't responsible enough for those assault weapons, those ones that are registered that we already tracked down. 
Gonna have to come and get them. That is so blatantly obviously what's going to uh, what's going to happen. It's just it's unbelievable. Everybody's mad in the house tonight. I hear yelling from all over, but uh, this is that's it. This is the end, folks. I would just like like to let you know that. Uh, I think it's funny now, now because I sent those uh, those people that won that contest, that little prologue contest, that piece of paper uh, describing uh, what was once legal in New York, and uh, yep, exactly like I said, that's what's happening. The gun that put the hole in those paper, my P99, assault weapon now, because nobody's going to make seven round mags for it. Nobody's going to be stupid enough to make seven round mags for a single state. That's just, there's no profit in that, why would we do that? Springfield already, uh, with their XDMs, won't sell them in New York because they're not going to make 10-round magazines for the dumbass states. Could you imagine if you were the one state with a 7? Where the fuck did that number even come from? Fucking random.org! No, it didn't. It's because they know. They know. They're not stupid. They know that no gun companies make 7-round magazines. So they'll do that. Gun ban. Period. That's all there is to it. That is a gun ban. I don't know. There's no, no two ways about it. The, it's a flat-out lie. You can look somebody in the face and say that now when they say, they're not going to come after your guns. They're not going to ban guns. Fucking bullshit. That's it. That, is, that is not true. If you wanted a pistol, and uh, I was just starting my process now, if you wanted a pistol for your family to protect your family or to conceal care or whatever in New York now, and this bill was passed already like it's going to be, let's see what your uh, buying options would be. Can't buy a Glock, because those you can't buy any Glock in 9 millimeter. You can't buy any Glock in 40. You might be able to get some sort of some subcompact with a six rounder, so you might be able to get a Glock 36. Uh, so wow, you have a choice of a Glock 36. Uh, so maybe maybe some of those might little pocket pistols like the LCP. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people want to defend their homestead with that. Um, revolver, I guess. Well, some revolvers, because some revolvers take uh, 8, 9, and 10 shots, especially the 22 ones. Those would be gone. Uh, get a revolver. Of course, we know how effective those are for home defense. I mean, sure, you might be able to use them, but well, not my choice. Uh, there's there's a reason that the police and the military don't use revolvers anymore. Um, you, you wouldn't be able to get a fucking 22 planker. The, pretty much the standard for 22 plinkers, and if I had to say this in, uh, like, if I had to say this as if I was looking like nothing fancy, uh, about 10 rounds, 10 rounds, 10 rounds. Why did I just decide to make a joke about not fancy right there? I have no idea. I just thought I'd throw that in and lighten the mood a little bit. Um, I, there's lots of things to laugh about me too, so I don't don't get all attached that I just cut down not fancy. Right there. I wasn't cutting down; it was a joke. Uh, that's pretty much the standard: 10 rounds. Uh, if you go get a 22 planker, that is your standard, 10 rounds. P22, 10 rounds. SR22, 10 rounds. Browning buck marks, 10 rounds. Uh, Ruger, uh, Ruger, uh, Mark twos, threes, and stuff like that, 10 rounds. All illegal. Gone. All legal. Couldn't get one of those. So there's no way you're going to get a planker 22. You can pretty much forget that. Uh, you'd be pretty fucked. In other words, you would be pretty fucked. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You, the, the, if when you went to look at the pistol uh, display cases, uh, they'd be pretty close to empty because who the fuck has a fucking gun with a fucking seven round magazine? Nobody. That's why they put the law in. They're not stupid. They know. That's a gun ban if I ever did see it. I can honestly say I didn't think they would go this route. I thought it would be some other route to, they would go to, uh, ban guns. We'll turn this off to right here. I thought they would go some other route to ban guns, but nope, this is the route they're going. Effective, though. I will give them that. It is effective. It will ban guns. It will strip people of their Second Amendment rights, period. And, uh, if I was going to ban guns in a place that had a Second Amendment, this is what I would do. And tell me if this sounds familiar. Well, the first thing you got to do is get people to believe stuff doesn't exist with the Second Amendment. You have to get people something repeating in people's heads. It can't be, it can't be for you know, warfare and stuff like that. You have to get hunting and target shooting into people's heads. Hunting and target shooting. Get that into their heads. Got to get them in there. Something that's unrelated to the Second Amendment. You've got to get them to believe that, okay? And then, when it comes time to ban, say that these things are not needed for hunting or target shooting. And if that's the only thing that these people are led to believe that the Second Amendment stands for, well, then there's no need for them. 
And then, for the guns that didn't get taken out and things like an assault weapons ban, you have to get people to believe that you don't need to be hunting anymore. Because, I mean, you can go to the store, you can get food. We, we are a civilized nation. We don't... You go to the store and get food, so uh, you don't really need to be hunting. But, but again, we don't want to take your hunting right away, and that's the only thing the Second Amendment's about. Remember, you put that in their head already. Uh, that's the only thing the Second Amendment is about. So, But if you just still want to anyway, you can still have it. But if you have nothing to hide, that's another thing you really got to get in their head. If you have nothing to hide, you can still have your guns. You just have to have them registered. Well, if you have nothing to hide, everybody's going to have to have them registered, right? That's what you put in their heads. If you have nothing to hide, right? you got to jam it in there. And then, get to things like... And it doesn't necessarily have to be in this order. You, you have to get, get things like um, loopholes in people's heads. Loopholes, like a gun show loophole, a private sale loophole. In reality, it's just two people exchanging goods and services. Just like you can do in a uh, you know free society, but again, guns are bad. So you gotta you had you if if it's not controlled by the government, you must be doing some kind of loophole. So if you're at a gun show or it's a private sale, that must be a loophole. Can't have that. So now you've got your guns registered. Don't want any loopholes. Okay, loophole, bad thing. You don't want any loopholes. And then, when your guns are registered. Have enough events that come around to say, to get people thinking, well, they're only for hunting, how many people actually hunt, and they're registered, so then just take the registered guns and that's it. If that sounds anything like what's going on in America today, shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody. Uh, people are absolutely, absolutely insane if you think that, that registration won't lead to confiscation. And they always point to things like New York City where they say, well, you know, New York City's had it registered for a while and um, they haven't confiscated guns. That's, that's not true. That's not true at all. And, in fact, they, they were already they were the first ones to plan if, if uh, Dumbo decided to actually do a federal assault weapons ban. Uh, they were the first ones thinking how easy it was going to be because they have their rifles and shotguns registered. We have our pistols here in New York, so my P99s that I already mentioned, when they don't have any grandfathering for this uh, these magazines, if they should happen to not have any grandfathering for these seven-round magazines... Bring up the list. Okay, he's got this P99 here. That holds 10 rounds. Gone! That's how easy it is. So, alright. I, I just... I'm just almost fucking broken now because, I mean, you realize how, how much of a joke this government is? How much it's not for the people at all? How much they will get whatever they want done? And you realize why people think that um, the elections are, elections are rigged that it's all controlled by, you know, some greater entity, because this is a joke. This is a joke. Nobody wants this crap. Nobody wants this bullshit, because it's not needed. Five fucking people died from rifles last year, and now we have a fucking tragedy in another fucking state, and we need to take action. The time is now. It's an emergency. Blah, blah, blah. All the other fucking buzzwords. So it's like, I mean, we, we, we've we just fucking lost here. This is this is unfucking believable So you can continue to call your senators and fight and all that shit, and I can't say that I won't do it anymore myself, but it's a joke. They're just going to get whatever they want anyway. And uh, so, yep, New York, first state with a gun ban. Thanks for watching, and uh, I don't know, maybe the First Amendment will go here soon after this. This is just a sad day. And if there's anybody in the free states that need any, any more convincing that if you give them an inch on anything, like, say, a common sense thing such as, well, why can't we have pro uh, background checks for private sales? If you give them an inch on anything, like, I don't know, say, okay, we'll give you the 10-round magazines, they are going to never stop. Now it's seven rounds, because mass murders were happening out there with them 10-round magazines, now we needed seven. It will never stop. So if that doesn't convince you, go up to the top of this page, unsubscribe from my channel, because you have got to be fucking dumber than a sack of horse shit. All right. I hope you people in the free states are enjoying it, because I, I think you guys will be all right in the federal level. It's just the state level. We are, we, are, we are going to put our head between our legs and kiss our arse goodbye. That's it. I will be, uh, I might, I, who the fuck knows what I'm going to do now. Um, 
Uh, I don't even know if I can have it. I don't know who the fuck knows what's going to be illegal next here in this uh, Communist People's Republic of Disasterville, whatever the fuck you want to call this. I'm out. I'm just rambling now. I'm just, I'm out of it. See you later.